In this video, I'm going to quickly go over how to use Unreal Landscape Splines, specifically for use in Unreal 4.24 or later, because I want to mention how that they're used in conjunction with the new landscape non-destructive editing feature. So in Unreal 4.24, they released a bunch of new features, which allow you to add layers similar to Photoshop, where you can blend the alpha between the different layers for different sculpting purposes, as well as the landscape blueprint brushes. Now the blueprint brushes are connected to the landmass plugin, which is awesome. And you need to turn that on if you want to use it. So I'm not going to demo it this in this video, but it also has the capability of being able to do photo matching, which is really cool. All right, so let's switch to Unreal. All right, so we're in Unreal. I'm going to hit Shift one in order to be able to select this landscape which i've got already set up and it's got a displacement map assigned to it so then when you've selected it then you go over to the landscape and you say enable edit layers so once you've got that turned on you can hit shift two and now you'll see edit layers here and now i'm going to right click and create a new layer and we can right click and we can even name this. We can call this spline layer. And also for the spline layers, you need to right click and say reserve for splines. And when you do that, you're going to get a caution message that says that any sculpting that you've done on this layer will get cleared. So just use it for splines only. And that's what we're gonna use it for. Then you just go under manage, click splines, and I'm gonna hold down the control key and click, click, and once you've got some splines in there, we might be able to just zoom in a little bit and also select one of these splines and then hold down the Alt key. So you can then move and add additional points in the spline. Now you wanna be careful because the default settings you can modify over here for how wide you want your road to be. You can taper your road based on each individual node that's added. So every time you wanna add another node, you can just hold down the Alt key and just click and drag and the ground will move up to that point. So I'm gonna zoom in and you can see that this is going pretty well. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and drag again. You can hit Alt two to shift to wireframe mode if you're like missing one of these and then then hit alt four to go back and just be careful you can kind of warp these or get them flipped around but ultimately um, this works really well and you can adjust the different fall offs from the the spline tool as well and you can also assign pieces of geometry to show up at the different points as well and that's right here under mesh. You can like drop in geometry. And there's a lot of in addition elements that you can investigate. Like there's a raise and lower terrain that you can uncheck their default on. And let me just scroll up here. You can also flip different controls. And also if you haven't used these splines before, they have the Bezier curves that you can grab and bend. And then if you want to see this visualized without this green spline thing. You can just hit shift, shift one to go back into the modes palette for selection. It's a really great and it's so much easier than before. So I'm really loving these new features as well as the new landmass tool. All right, so that'll get you started on making roads through your mountains in Unreal. That'll wrap things up. See you in the next one.